Welcome to two examples of solving proportions. But if we take a look at these two proportions, they don't look quite the same as the other proportions that we've solved. Normally when asked to solve a proportion, we have two ratios equal to each other. And when it's in this form, we know that the cross products must be equal, or A times D must equal B times C. But again, looking at our first example, notice that the left side is not written as a fraction or a ratio. So the first thing we'll do is write six as six over one equals x over four. And now in this form we can cross multiply and solve for x. It doesn't matter which cross product we find first, but I'm going to find the one that contains the variable first. So in this case, one times x must equal six times four. Well, one times x is equal to x, and six times four is equal to twenty-four, and we have our solution, x equals twenty-four. Now I should mention in this form we could also solve this as a one-step equation. If we had six equals x divided by four, we could solve for x by multiplying both sides of the equation by four. Notice on the right side, these fours would simplify to one, leaving us with our solution, x equals twenty-four. Now let's take a look at our second example. Again, for the first step, we'll write seven as seven over one equals thirty-five over x, and now we'll cross multiply and solve for x. So for this example, we'll find this cross product first. Seven times x must equal one times thirty-five. Well, seven times x is equal to seven x. One times thirty-five is equal to thirty-five. Here we have a one-step equation to solve, and since seven x means seven times x, to solve for x we'll divide both sides by seven. So we have x equals thirty-five divided by seven, which is equal to five. I hope you found these two examples helpful.